and we're back. Last time we reached the sh capsule ship with all Dragon Balls. Now we're gonna go summon Shenron with all of the Dragon Balls. And it's his tail. I really wish they um panned the camera up so we could see um, his head. I guess that would be a massive sprite. Uh, never mind then. It works better this way, I guess. But it would have been cool to see a full pix pixel dragon sprite dragon. Not a sprite dragon, it's a soda of uh, a dragon sprite, the Shenron sprite. Okay, never mind. Never mind that. And now for the group instant transmission. I wonder how much energy that took from Goku. How much does the instant transmission take in general? I'm sure there's some answer somewhere. It was really interesting what they did with Gohan, but in the end it didn't really do anything. He had a cool fight with Majin Buu and I thought he was going to get him, but whatever. It just looks like they're standing on an invisible platform. That's because the shadows are right there, under their feet. <laughs> It is weird that Goku didn't wish Gohan or try to wish Gohan or Vegeta back. Um, maybe they did, and I wasn't paying attention. And uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Sorry. Well, I think Vegeta wanted help because he knocked Goku out, so. But they don't know that. I wonder if Goku went Super Saiyan 3 and he didn't have the Halo, if he could have beat this uh, Majin Buu currently. You can have the energy restriction, because Super Saiyan 3 drained a lot of energy. It's really cool that they let you do the fusion. They make you do the fusion yourself. Instead of just automatic, it really burns some um, interactivity into the, your experience playing the game. Which is cool. Although it would, it would have been cool if you messed up. Whenever you messed up and your fusion messes up for like one second or something, like you see the sprite for like one second of the botched fusion, that would have been funny, but it would have been a waste of sprite if it was like one second. 
So whatever. And then you got these dummies. Freaking ratted um ratting out uh, Trunks, Goten, and Piccolo. Or just Trunks and Goten. I don't think they saw Piccolo. That way they did. Okay, now I'm rambling. I hated those people. Now we have to go meet Majin Buu from one of my favorite scenes from Dragon Ball Z. Goku turned Super Saiyan 3. That was pretty cool. I remember watching that for the first time on Toonami. It was like 2003, I think. And that scene was just crazy and cool. Yeah, Super Saiyan 3 is a pretty cool transformation. I went the wrong way. And Jadrobi's not giving me sensor beans anymore. I thought I had I thought I had fish to give, but I don't. Oh well, I don't need it anyway. I always make the mistake of going there. I keep forgetting. Alright now we go to meet Martian Boo. I got I had a ten pound hand weight arm accessory for that that's pretty I don't remember getting that. But it's good. Ten pound. That's a good level and up. Um helper. Well the upgraded one. And it went back here uh oh. Wait. No wait, modern move would be Let me just check here. It's probably nothing here, but I'm just checking. And we just have to go to that location. Which is not there. Oh, there he is. So, I don't know if that lightning was supposed to represent the Super Saiyan 2 lightning. Because that's weird to, for Goku to go straight to Super Saiyan 2. As you can see, Majin Buu, they kept the, the Japanese pronunciation of Super Saiyan. That's pretty cool. And the Super Saiyan 3 sprite looks pretty cool. I really love the Falconer track or Falconer track for this theme. So just get in a punching loop. Just gotta keep the momentum. Keep it, keep it, keep it, um, keep the rhythm. 
And we could just do this in infinitely. And I, I couldn't keep it. I better stop fooling around. I should have used a command mail to try it out, but whatever. Like, I wonder if Gotenks wasn't playing around and he actually trained a little bit before in fighting this version of Machin Buu, I wonder if they could have won also. Because they almost struggled with Super Buu, but they were just too cocky. And this scene was pretty cool too. Machin Buu um, decided to stop being a puppet. So I can do whatever he wants to do. He messed up the city. That's it, see you later.